Well, good afternoon and welcome back to the study. I'm here this evening to deal with a bottle. Well, a colleague of mine recently gifted this bottle to me and uh, my friend Robert and I, who's not here this evening, but my friend Robert and I decided to sample it during one of our Smoke and Oak live streams. And when we first opened the bottle, the cork broke. Disaster struck. What should one do in this particular case? So, you know, we're thirsty, needs must. Put the finger in, poke the cork into the bottle, but now you can see, of course, it's floating in there with a few remnants. So we need to resolve this issue. Now, we've had some discussion on, you know, the merits or, you know, opposite wise of a decanter. I'm not, per personally, I'm not a big uh, advocate for decanters. I think, uh, you know, if you've got bottles of whiskey that are worth, in some cases, hundreds of dollars, it, it's worthwhile actually displaying the bottle in its appropriate case. However, sometimes disaster strikes, or in some cases, you may have a bottle that, you know, becomes damaged in another way, and you, you don't want to waste the whiskey. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to take a simple coffee filter over the neck of the bottle like this, hair tie, thank you to my daughter, Waste not, want not, right? Oh, there's actually a hair in there. I better pull that out. <laughs> and then, of course, take the decanter, insert it over top like that, and then tip it upside down. And we're just going to let that filter in. And that's going to catch any of those sections of cork that may get hung up in, you know, in the whiskey and really spoil the whiskey, right? Nobody likes to be picking floaty bits out of their mouth and they're just trying to enjoy a nice glass of whiskey. So once you're done filtering your cork, you're left with a beautiful bottle of whiskey to display. Now, of course, many decanters don't seal very well. So this is something that if you're gonna have a consumable bottle, this is probably gonna be the one you're gonna to wanna to tackle first because of course all the light ends and stuff and the alcohol can flash off. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do, and you should do this of course with all your whiskey, is make sure you keep it in a cool, relatively dark place because of course sunlight can impact it as well. And don't forget to recycle. I mean, that's probably worth 25 cents. Get enough of those, maybe you'll buy another bottle of whiskey. You might need a few, but every little bit helps, right? Anyhow, I'm gonna set this aside here by the humidor. One for a future live stream. So I hope you have a fantastic evening. We'll catch you again next time.